so students here is a demonstration where i will show you that how light is getting reflected from our grating right so light is coming through that collimeter this one collimeter then getting reflected from this uh, diffraction grating and if this grating was not there then light will directly come in one particular direction and you will see an image like this so that's the image that the light is coming from the collimeter right so you will see i will go away from this path of this straight path of this light and then i will be able to see this image again so i see i'm moving away from the straight line You see, I saw that line again. So that's like earlier it was n is equal to 0 position. This is n is equal to 1 position. So then I am further moving. If I am lucky, then I will see that line again. Yes, I have seen it again. So that's n is equal to 2. Right, so we have seen n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2. You see how much far away from this main straight direction I am. So that's what I have to record that how much rotation I did from the straight line, and that is your angle theta. So I have to record the theta, I have to measure that how much rotation I did, and that measurement is done using this telescope. So here is the telescope, this is the straight line, I will see one image, I think, so from here if I see, I will be able to see one line, then again I will rotate this in one direction, let's say here I have seen another line, so I will measure how much I did the rotation, then for the n is equal, to, this is n is equal to 1, then for the n is equal to 2, I will rotate it further. Then I will record again how much I rotated, right? So in this way, for different n values, I will have different angles. That means this diffraction grating is diffracting light at different angles. And that light is coming from the collimeter like this, right? So how to take the data? The data here means the position of this telescope right so given a particular position from where you are seeing the light you can record its position from these two scales and from here is one scale and there is another scale on the other side i can take two readings and then I can take some average or I can just take reading from one particular window and then record the movement or the displacement or the rotation that I give to this collimeter. You see when I rotate this lower scale rotates and this smaller scale that is called the Vernier scale that remains fixed to its position. So the rotation of the telescope is the rotation of the lower scale, circular scale and because this vernier scale is fixed, so if I keep a track that for a particular position what was the reading and then for the next after some rotation I find out what's the position again then if i take the difference between these two recording readings then i can calculate how much i rotated right so so these two readings i will explain in a different uh, video thank you